In this video, let's see another topic in the option bar which is called as scaling options. Scaling options are used to scale or change the size of an object. So we have seen width and height option in the previous section whereas by using the width and height you can type in the parameters with their units like inches or centimeters or millimeters or etc. But whereas in this scaling section you can directly increase with the help of the parameters given in the option bar. So let us see how to increase or decrease or change the size of an object by using the options given in the option bar practically. To see the scaling features practically, let us select the object first. Now once after selecting the object, in the option bar, we can see the scaling parameters, which is holding the width scaling and as well as height scaling. And there is a link icon which is activated. So now selecting the object and if I type any numeric value, like let us say 120 and directly when you press enter and you can see that both values will automatically becomes to 100% but it is increasing in its size to 20%. When I press ctrl Z you can see and shift ctrl Z you can see the change. So now if I remove this scale, uh, link icon and then I reduce it to 75% you see it will scale it will decrease its scale only in the width. Similarly, if I increase the height to 135% and press enter, it will increase only in its height. So this is how we can work with width and height scaling or together you can make a uniform scaling by increasing or decreasing the parameters. So that is about the scaling options in this video.